Hello guys and welcome to Sophisticated Obsession. In this series we look in detail at the house of Zoologist. Now we must say a huge thank you to Victor Wong for giving us a sample of all of his fragrances. We really are appreciative. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Guys, let's go on a journey. Today, it's Camel. Hello guys and welcome back to Sophisticated Obsession. My name is Matt and on today's show we continue our journey through the house of zoologist. So camel, well what do we sort of know about camel already? Obviously it's one of like the, the Arab sort of states so you're gonna have a lot of dust, a lot of sand, probably a little bit of heat, maybe some sort of spiciness and to be quite honest from the note breakdown from this little uh, sample that I've got it pretty much has just that. Top notes. The top notes are dried fruits, frankincense, palm date and rose. Heart notes. The heart notes are amber, cedar, cinnamon, incense, jasmine myrrh and orange blossom. Base notes. The base notes are civet, musk, sandalwood, oud, tonka, vanilla and vetiver. Instantly you can see from the notes that are in this fragrance it is going to be very very spicy. It's going to be quite sweet and so what you will have is you've got the uh, the strong sort of spicy elements then working together, I wouldn't say working against, but working together with the sweet elements to then sort of bring it to a nice harmony in the middle. So it's not really dark, but then at the same time it's not a gourmand fragrance, it's going to be something in the middle which I think is going to be perfect. So let's get down to spray it. So I've got the uh, 2.5 mils and from, from these atomizers you get a lot of juice. Wow. Okay, so instantly in the top notes you get a real heavy note of spice, but then also you've got some really nice like dark, uh, earthy, um, very, very sweet notes, which I just think balances so, so well. Now I've got to say, when I first tried this, Rach did not like this whatsoever, and I was like, what? I, I couldn't believe that she didn't like it because she really does like sort of dark strong scents. You could say that this is like a Tom Ford. I would say that this would go into the Tom Ford private blend collection so easily. It would like, it would just blend in. After a little while the spiciness sort of subsides and it isn't spicy but more of like a warm hum. It's not hot, it's just a nice sort of delicate spice to it. The sweet notes aren't enormous, they're prominent, but they aren't absolutely massive, which is good because I think that if you have sweet notes that are over dominant in the, the heart notes and, and, and in the top notes, I find that it's then only going to get sweeter with time, which to be quite honest, by the end of the day, you're like, this is awful. So I'm glad that it it isn't enormous, but there is a subtle sort of smell of these uh, these dried fruits at the top. As this dries down, it goes into more of like a subtle spice. So again, that spiciness just then sort of drops even further. Um, but then what you get is you get some really rich vanilla notes and you also then have that working with the tonka. So you've got sort of like dark richness coming through. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get to the rating. Number one. Presentation. The presentation to all of the zoologists I give an instant point to. Just because this is only a sample and yet the samples look so amazing. They look so, so professional and as you can see on the inside you've then got a picture of the actual deluxe bottle. So if you want to then spend your money that is what you're going to be getting. The deluxe bottles, I have seen them and they are to die for. They are absolutely beautiful and they arrive in its own like little book. So it's almost like you are sort of 
un you're undoing this uh, this book of knowledge about this wonderful animal. It is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it definitely gets a point for the presentation. Number two, performance. The performance on all zoologists are amazing. I get a really, really decent projection from this. I want to say I get about sort of two, three hours of solid projection. Like, I leave a proper scent trail going through the room. So I would say that this would definitely fill up a small room if you have just sprayed it. So I would sort of go easy on the trigger, maybe just sort of apply throughout the day sparingly. Don't go mad. Then as it progresses, uh, it starts to die down and become more of a skin scent. However, you will not get rid of this until you need to wash. So yeah, it gets a point for the performance. Number three, target audience. Hmm. It's definitely a man scent. I would so easily wear this and have worn this out and about. And I do get uh, like a lot of compliments when I'm wearing it. Would a woman wear it? I actually think a confident woman would so, so easily wear this. It's not something which is like enormous and really, really skanky. It's actually something that could be quite easily worn by a female who is very fo um, who is very confident in wearing a bold scent. I could see that if a woman wanted to wear something that she maybe then wears Tom Ford, I could so easily see her wearing camel as well. The age, I don't think super young, like teens, probably not. Um, you're probably looking at sort of mid to late 20s, um, right through to then like the more, more mature ages. It would be quite easy for you to wear this and I think that this could suit quite a lot of people's style. So yeah, it definitely gets a point for its target audience. Number four, versatility. This is a very versatile scent. Um, I would say that you could dress this up or you could dress this down. You've got to be careful on where you dress it down, I think. If you're just nipping to the shops just to get a few bits and bobs, this probably is gonna like overpower quite a few people and it's probably gonna be a little bit overkill for what you're wearing. However, if it is that you are maybe going out for lunch or maybe you're um, you're going on like a shopping spree and so you're going out all day, you'll probably want a fragrance that then has quite a lot of staying power and this is it. You literally need to wash to then get it off. In the evenings, I'm talking like sort of the high epitome of elegance here. This would go, this would go because you've got those sweet alluring notes with then the dark sort of grounded nature of, of the fragrance from, from the spiciness. So I think that it really does put its uh, put its foot in both camps. I think that it is a pretty dumb reach and I think that you could wear this in so many occasions. So yeah, it's going to get a point for its versatility. And finally, uniqueness. Is this fragrance unique? Yes and no. It is unique because I love the story behind Camel and I think that how zoologists have marketed their fragrances is just perfect. I mean, it's beyond words. It is literally perfect. If you want to get a product that is very niche and very different, Zoologist is such an easy route to go down. So it is unique in that sense. However, I think it's unique because of its backstory. But we are in the business of actually looking at the fragrance itself. And I keep going back to it, but I have a feeling that Tom Ford has probably done similar things. The likes of Tobacco Vanille, which has that real sort of strong tobacco scent with then the vanilla, it shows that, that similarity. Um, and I just sort of think that Yes, it is unique in how it has been developed and what the storyline is around and how it's been inspired, but I think the actual scent itself, when we just think if we were just, just testing this blind and we didn't know anything about the company, it might not have that unique edge. So I'm going to be uber uber critical and say that it doesn't get a point for its uniqueness. So the total of Zoologist Camel is 
4 out of 5. This fragrance is just incredible. It is. And when I say that it's not unique, it is. It is unique. You should definitely try it even if you do know the brand of Tom Ford exceptionally well. It might be that you love this even more than, than, than Tom Ford. As always, please try it on your skin. Don't just like sort of smell it on a blotting card and think, eh, yeah, it's okay. Try it on your skin. See how it develops on your skin. See how long it lasts on your skin. Now the final thing is the price. And at the moment, the price is £135. Now, I think actually for 60 mils, that's pretty good when you consider that this is a niche fragrance. I think that that is quite a good deal. So the last thing is, if you have not done so already, check out our blog at sophisticatedobsession.com slash zoologist. There, we have a little review of all of the zoologist fragrances, um, and it just gives you a little bit more detail, and also you then get to see the deluxe bottles on there as well. Also, check out our Instagram and Facebook at Sophisticated Obsession, and our Twitter at So Obsession, and also click that big subscribe button here. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day guys and we'll see you very soon. Bye!